Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Gigline, and with me today is... Paula Jordan. And what's the name of your company? Jordan Studios. And what does Jordan Studios do? We are a ballet and Latin dance studio. In Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, Paula and I have been walking, talking about the important issues around business. And, you know, business and life look identical. And one of the things we were talking about was this adage that you know, business people like myself have, which is be slow to hire and fast to fire. Paula's been examining and she came up with a really interesting insight. So over your career, when you have not fired quick enough, you didn't let that person go and get a better person in for you and your organization and, and take them out of their pain. What did you find out? Why did you not do that? Um, that it came from a place of ego, um, that I wanted to be the one who gave them like an ah, uh, like moment in their life yes. and that helped them change because I knew they like, I could see their struggle, yep. but, and I, but I wanted to be the one to show it to them instead of just allowing for the right person to come into their life and show them yeah. and help them. Yeah. So, you know, in my work, what it ends up being, and I'll just, I don't mean to cut you out, but it's just a little easy. What, what it means is that you step back. The person may have been right for you to hire at that moment, but then there comes a point when it is no longer right. And the longer you hold on, the more miserable you get, the more miserable they get, the more miserable whoever else is working with you gets. So take the stance instead of, oh, I can make them better. I can get them over this. Be realistic, especially if you're a small business owner. There is only so much time in your day for you to run your business, attract customers into your business, develop your employees. There comes a point when a, a, a relationship is complete. And I don't even like the term firing you're really allowing yourself and this person to find their next best opportunity. So think about that in your friend relationships, in your business relationships, and even in your family relationships. So I am Dr. Andrea Gigline. And Hi, Jordan. <laughs> yes, and don't forget their studio when you come into Las Vegas or if you live here. Um, I am not good enough to be taking this the, the salsa lessons, I will admit. And please do subscribe. Thank you.